Welcome back, everybody. This is the Benjinator, and you're watching Let's Play Saga Frontier, Acellus' Quest, Part 11. So last time, we took the plane back to Fasinataro. Uh, we're currently climbing the spire where allegedly Orluge is going to be hiding out. We're going to get some revenge on him. And also what we did is we defeated a, an angry giant and opened this door. Um, this is an important part of an optional side quest to get the good ending in Acellus' Quest. So remember that shiny temple place that we couldn't do anything with downstairs? Well, let's go back there and see if anything's changed. Well, 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 look at what we got here. So there's a shining light that has revealed a door. Woo! So before you go in this door, make sure you're healed up. Remember, there's a spring just above, so it should be easy to do. So, oh my god, it's a dragon! Let's fight the dragon. All right, so now we're going to have yet another boss battle. Uh, Acellus' quest has a lot of them, so just keep that in mind. It's a griffin dragon thingy. Alrighty, so let's, uh, let's take out the griffin dragon. Oh, just griffin, alright. Alright, so as usual, let's kick him in the face with boots first, so that way we can get into beast mode. Um, giant swing. At this point in the game, DSC isn't really necessary. I don't usually use DSC until we get to the final, the final, final boss. So, um... Don't worry about getting the proper stuff for DSC. Just use, you know, your your fun, powerful techniques, and you should be absolutely okay. All right, so that missed, but that's okay. We're not actually trying to hit him with magic boots. We're just trying to go into beast mode. All right, so probably should have used something more powerful than just, you know, hitting hitting them with a uh, regular sword attack. But that's okay. Miser time is more for support than anything else. She's very critical when it comes to uh, just. Healing, healing wounded teammates, I, I think, more than just anything else. So, all right, now we got the triple trust with the silver moon. That doesn't sound very uh, clean, but that's okay. All right, so let's, uh, I know if you want to have fun with any of these, like, abilities too, fire, but, but uh, Phantasm Shot's probably your best bet. She has very high, uh, because of her upgrades, has pretty high magic abilities, so you want to take advantage of that for sure. There we go. And she's still going first, actually. She's uh, she's competing with Acellus for uh, highest. Oh, there we go, Kasumi. I love Kasumi. You don't get to get. You don't. I've had a lot of times where I played this game where I haven't actually gotten Kasumi, but it's always fun to uh, experiment with. Oh, Rosero Impale. Yes, I've been waiting for this one. That is sexy. Rosero Impale is probably one of the most powerful uh, abilities you can get. Probably better than Triple Thrust, actually. So, I I'd replace that. I'd replace Rosero Impale with Triple Thrust. Because it, hit it hits all your foes, but also it just does more damage, I believe. Yeah. Extra WP, but it's definitely worth trying out. I'm so happy I got that. Whee! Alrighty. Let's go to town on this guy. Beak for a fairly pitiful amount of damage. Cockatrice power! Yeah, so... The Griffin really isn't that powerful. Like, that's pretty much the maximum ascent of his attacks. I really do wish I got Sky Twister, though. I kind of missed that one. All right, so now Rosero Impale and, I think, Triple Thrust? That's going to hurt, yep. That is going to hurt. Especially with Beast Mode uh, Acellus. Yeah, almost almost 8,000 damage. I mean, I know I know we're not breaking the 10,000 barrier, but that's because we don't necessarily have somebody like Alkaiser who's just ridiculous. I mean, Acellus is really powerful too, don't get me wrong, but it's more her defensive capabilities that she gets from um, absorbing Suzaku's more than her attack. Not that her attack's bad, and not that you couldn't go back and upgrade her more, but there's more maintenance, I think, in Acellus' quest than there is with Alkaiser. Alkaiser, you just, you're almost kind of given the, these really, really powerful uh, <laughs> characters, so. Anyway. Hopefully this guy won't be last too much longer. I think he's almost dead. Griffin doesn't have much on him. So, yep, there he is. Pretty simple. Beast mode to sell us, just taking it to town. We all get some nice HP bonuses. Woo! All right, it's, al it's always good when Ocellus gets an HP. Uh, uh, looks like she must have got a... I think she got uh, that magic shield ability, which is actually pretty cool. I might put that on her. Oh, look, it's Gina. Yay, we saved Gina. Whee! Yay, miracles. Do I get anything fun? Rastaban? What? I thought that guy was a good guy. He's so evil. 
Yeah, he's a strange one. Him and his lack of... Him and his lack of teleportation. Oh, he's been hanging too, too long with Kato, huh? Alright, so yeah. Now we have a chance... Uh, ooh, yeah. Maybe Rastaban's been turned. Alright, so now we actually have a chance of getting the good ending in this game, which is awesome. So, now that we've saved Gina, I will meet you back to where the giant was. Because that's where we last left off when we were traversing this tower. So I will see you in just a little bit. Alright, so here we are, back at the, the door. So let's continue climbing this uh, this tower, see what else is left for us. Yeah, so we're, we're almost to the top, actually, and I would just I would just avoid these enemies if you can. I'm, I'm at the top battle ranks, so they actually are quite helpful. But, you know, if you can avoid them, that's fine. Oh, here we are. Remember this screen? This is where we got stabbed, and actually, if you go through this door, you'll see that there there's the pool that teleports us, and this one actually works. But it's only a one-way pool, so this will lead you back down uh, the chateau, but only use it if you absolutely have to. So, I'm going to do a quick save right here. Um, so for the next part of this game, uh, make sure that you're prepared, because you're going to have to fight quite a few bosses. So, uh, yeah, so you can always come back here. Um, there's nothing that's going to prevent you from going all the way back down, all the way out of Fasinataro to level up, so feel free if you want. And so remember, last time we went here, Kato was standing there and he told us to leave. Well, he's still there, but now he's a ghost, because I I thought we killed this dude. Your blood. Uh-oh. He's going to go all vampire. Just when we thought we defeated Kato, he's back. But yeah, we get to hear the fun music. My second favorite battle theme. So now we're getting a real, just vampiric uh, villain type person. So... Just to use a uh, double gale slash, take out him and his uh, little bats, and might as well triangle kick him. What's his name? Bat Knight. Woo! Yep, yep. And so we get to use a uh, phantasm shot. Turbid current, why not? And, uh, yeah, let's use Mega Wind Blast. That always hurts him a lot. Woo! Alright, so here we go. Oh, I forgot to put the cells in beast mode. Uh oh. Grim Reaper. Boom. 1500 damage. Nice job, Miser Thyme. So those bats are going to just vanish easily. Yeah, look at that. 5,000 damage. Oh, I guess those bats are more powerful than I thought. Ah, well. We should, we should, they should disappear with uh, Mega Wind Blast, so we'll be in, we'll be in excellent shape. Woo! They're smoked. They're smack, smoked. And now, it's, now all I got to do is, oh, that's not fun. All right, so two of our party members are out of it, but loot instantly recovers because he's a badass. Right, he's, he's going to keep bringing those stupid bats back, but, uh, you know, for the most part, you don't have to worry about them too much. And you can, yeah, you can give, uh, yeah, give the bat knight a, a nice kick in the, kick in the groin. Why not? Phantasm shot. Uh, double gale slash for loot this time. And mega wind blast. This should, uh, take care of him. So, oh, look at that. 1,400. Celis is getting crazy. Look at that. Either that or he's just has really low, uh, <laughs> Really low defensive power, that could be it too. Because you're doing a lot more damage to uh, the Bat Knight than we have previous foes, so. Maybe they were just all heavily armored. I don't mind in any case. 84 damage. Psh. Mega Wind Blast. Should take out that silly bat. Eventually, you can just pretty much ignore the bats, because they really don't do that much damage in the first place. Ooh, and that, that would hurt if it actually hit us. So, Faeon is snapped out of his tizzy. So. At this point, I would just go all out on the Bat Knight. Really, uh, well, we'll use Rosero, Rosero Impale just because... Well, I guess it only hits one person, but... Oh, well. Not a big deal. Corkscrew, as usual. Phantasm Shot, because she's doing such a great job with that. Double Gale Slash, and Meg Wind Blast. Woo! Rosero Impale. So this is going to hurt, because Acellus is powerful. Woo! Yeah, 3,000. Pretty good. So the damage, the damage might not look so great, but that's just because they're not combining as well as they did in Red's Quest. They're still doing a respectable amount of damage, I would say. And generally speaking, I think that these, uh, the, the bosses in uh, Acelsus' Quest generally are less, they have less HP than the ones in Red, so yeah, you should be all right. You should be more than okay, I think. All right. Ooh, and that, oh, that, ooh. That did hurt. Oh, that hurt. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, so we're going to bring Acellus back. Thankfully, she'll still be in um, her appropriate form. So let's, uh... Yeah, who, 
who's got... We use Starlight Heal. That should do the trick. Yeah, I use Turbid Current on the, the nasty Bat Nightman. Alright, so Starlight Heal. Do it, do it, do do. On a Celis, why not? Whee! Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Yeah, so this. This Bat Knight really shouldn't give you too much trouble. He's kind of annoying. Ooh, deflected. Nice. I mean, he, de he definitely is robust. But he certainly is not... As you can see, his attacks... The only thing that actually did any damage to us was that ectoplastic automatic death thing. And that's about it. So, yeah. I, I, I think one more uh, power grab. So silly. I think one more round should actually probably do it. As long as we've got the Rosero Impale. Alright, so those bats are getting in our way again. So we're going to have to... We're going to have to use some kind of all attack. But we can still get to him. There's... The access to him is not blocked, which is really good. So double gale slash, and our and yeah, mega wind blast. This should this should this should make short work of him. Especially the Rosero Impale. Whee! Always fun. Three thousand damage. Never bad. Never bad thing. Yeah, this. I think Estelle's quest has the largest assortment of bosses in a row. Um, even more so than Red's quest actually, and that had quite a bit. So. All right, and he's dead. The Bat Knight is gone. The Batman has been defeated. Whee! Yeah, so that's that's the last time you'll ever have to deal with Kato. At least I hope so. This Kato is a uh, pain in the butt. De definitive pain in the butt. Yeah, so I think you fight him, well, you only fight him twice, but I guess if you count his underlings, that's that's also a thing, so. HP goes up. Whee! WP is up and... Oh, now, now she'll learn Magic Shield. Okay. I think I'm going to put that on her, actually. That might not be a bad idea. Alright, so... Yep. Shameless bastard. <laughs> oh, Zozma. Zozma doesn't have any respect for anybody. Alrighty. So let me just... Actually, yeah. Let me, uh, let me rearrange some things. Let me go heal. And then I will be right back. Okay, we're back. So I found something uh, that I forgot that's completely irritating, is that you actually cannot go out this door once you've entered it. So if you want to recover and go to that spring, you have to go to this teleportation one up here and then go all the way back up. So it's a little bit of a pain, but if your enemy dodging skills are decent, you should be fine. It just It's a little time consuming. Anyway, so let's press on. Defeated Kato from the Kato Institute. But who's next? Oh, look, it's Princess Lion. Yeah, can we just be friends? Uh, I I think there's a way for her to join your party, but I've never actually seen it. Uh, so if anybody out there knows a way to get Princess Lion to join your party, please let me know, because I have never found out a way to do so. Got Princess Ray to do so, but not Princess Lion. All right, so we fought this woman before. Let's uh, use our usual uh, beast mode and um, yeah, use giant swing, see if you can do it. Try to avoid, uh, try to try to stick with the the projectiles. That's usually the best way to go. Um, so yeah, wheel slash. That's always good for loot to use. And uh, let's use Vermilion Sand. Why not? I could use Soul Rune if I wanted to, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna save that. Woo! Jack Power. Uh, that's it's so ridiculous how much those mystical weapon damages do. That just kind of shows you how strong a Celis really is. But also the best part, I really like how all these characters are going first. Their quickness level is just so high. And I've played this quest a few times, and I haven't really seen it quite like that, so... We got 5,000. Yep, and sway back. Counter by a giant swing. That's how you do it, Feon. Feon, he knows what's up. And so far, uh, Princess Lion has done exactly zero damage to us. So yeah. Silver Moon, with zero impale, of course. Triangle Kick. Phantasm shot. Uh, yeah, let's just use Turbid Current just for old time's sake. As long as she doesn't use Kasumi on us or whatever, we should be all right. Bro, zero impale. Can't counter that. That's just gonna hurt. I make it hurt. Woo! I just wish these attacks can bind better. That's that's my only concern. Is there's there's a lot of good. Oh look, there you go. Speak of the devil. All right, so we're gonna have Mega Wind Blast and Turbid Current. And triangle kicks. This is gonna hurt. Woo! Hopefully, uh, it gets close to 10,000. Oh, there we go. Exactly 10,000. Nice. Griffith scratch. 
That hurts mildly. <laughs> so, not bad. Alrighty. We're zero and pale. Impale. Yeah, so actually Princess Line I think is a little bit easier because you don't have those annoying bats that use sonic attacks on you, and those are, of course, really, really just ridiculous and irritating. But yeah, Princess Line, she has more HP than she previously did, but only slightly, because as you can see, she's already dead. So, whee! And there she goes. Easy as hell. Not that much more powerful. Her attack power was maybe boosted a little bit, but... <laughs> and Ildon was all like, Oh, she was just toying with you last time. Next time, she's really gonna present herself as a challenge. You're gonna die. But we defeated her with the greatest of these, so... Yeah, look at that. Whee! Hooray. That is so lovely. Well, yeah, she's gone. Now we got the Golden Lion! Which is a, uh, she said Lion Princess, I skipped through that, my, my bad. Alright, let's put that on, um, loot. The Golden Lion, probably the most powerful sword in the game. Does 75 damage, so it is awesome. And we can use that for our Master Swordman loot. Swordsman loot. Even though he's a drunk, he does have the highest strength. Alright, so, we're slightly injured, I'm just gonna make a quick save. But I'm gonna attempt to fight the next boss. If I completely screw up, I will, uh, just cut this part out of the video, I'll go back and recover. But I'm gonna attempt to fight this guy. So, look, there's Rastaban, that bastard. Uh-oh. So, interesting note, if you don't do the Gina thing, you don't have to fight this guy. He just gives you some armor. But now that Aselz is all like, oh-ho, I know what's up, now you actually have to fight him, so. Yep. Uh-oh. There we go. Now you have to fight Rastaban, who isn't really that hard. I think he's a little bit more challenging than um, the Bat Knight, but not by much. Look at him, he looks looks pretty badass though. He looks like uh, Gilgamesh from Final Fantasy V. Uh, if you haven't played that game, you should, it's actually quite good. Not my favorite Final Fantasy, but still, rather, rather fun. It's a good one, it's one of the older ones. Actually, it's funny, I... Uh, as far as Final Fantasy games go, if you guys have checked out my channel, I do, I'm do. i having a cooperative one with my friend Mike for Final Fantasy VI, but I really don't... There's not really a lot of Final Fantasy games that I intend on doing, just because I feel like they're a little bit overdone. And there's also a lot of ones that I just simply don't like. Like, I wasn't a big fan of 1 or 2. Um, I haven't played 3. 4 is actually probably my favorite, but there are so many good um, Final Fantasy IV LPs that I'm just not even going to bother, so... So yeah, that's... I may do a Final Fantasy in the future. I might do 9 of anyone, just because I, I, f I find that that one's pretty good. But other than that, eh, I don't plan on doing a Final Fantasy in the near future. Maybe one of these days, who knows. Final Fantasy is a great series, don't get me wrong. I just feel like it's done a little much, so... As you can see, ooh, the Black Knight. <laughs> I guess this guy really should have been... Um, I love how we have the Bat Knight and the Black Knight. I have a feeling the translators just really kind of enjoyed, they were having like a Batman binge this weekend and they decided to just name these uh, these various bosses after <laughs> variations of Batman. Sure, why not? Although I guess Princess Lion really isn't named after anything whatsoever, so we that's just kind of a thing that happens. Alright, so we're, yeah, we're, we're, we're making quick work of this guy. I, I don't think that uh, Rastaban has too many difficult things that you have to deal with. Uh, we get his vitality down, and, you know, he has, he hits us with the lance, and he gets multiple hits. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I always, this always happens, I'm always talking too much, but let's, uh, let's have Acellus take a little bit of a break and use a max cure, which we have plenty of, 35, so, yeah, let's, you don't want, the thing about, um, Miser Thyme is you don't want her losing too much LP, especially in the final battle, just because you're gonna need that LP to, uh, for the assistance of Life Rain, which is going to be your your savior when you fight Mr. Orluge. So, woo! Bat Knight's going down, or Black Knight, I'm sorry. I should have said Black Knight. Alright, yeah, 10,000. We are doing excellent. And Acellus is just like, what, what, what was that? You just hit me with a glider spike? Oh, look at my big fat shield. I just blocked it. Mm-mm-mm. So... All right, Meister Thyme can go back to using, yeah, just, uh, just use your strongest attacks. You can always heal after this battle, so it's it's absolutely fine. 
Whee! Rosero in Pale. In Pale. Whee! And as you can see, when these attacks combine, they're just so much more powerful. But even single, they're... You'll still chip away at your opponent. And this is, uh... Always something to keep in mind. So as you can see, this guy has quite a bit of HP, but he's doing useless attacks like Flash, which don't even work at this point. I think it's because either our Psychic or our or Will is is fairly high at this point. So we're just kind of blocking all of, all of his uh, all of his attacks. I really do love the animations in this game, but they're probably one of the best. Not just in the the PS1 era, but the PS2 era. You just don't get this level of detail with the uh, the the technique animations. It's it's really fun. I have to give the uh, the designers a, a real thumbs up for that. I mean, yeah, the the graphic interface isn't the best. Um, you know, I, I do like the sprites though. The sprites are pretty cool. And considering it's also a 3D game, I also think it's 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 really, you know, it's it's really commendable. I do like the shifting camera angles. I actually showed this game to a friend, and he thought that the shifting camera angles really added a certain amount of depth to uh, the battles in this game. All right, so I think we're gonna change it up a little bit just because I'm kind of getting kind of tired of seeing Gold Hand, as fun as it is. Just because this guy does have quite a bit of HP. Okay, we're zero and pale. I never get tired of. But let's move into on the Corkscrew, Phantasm Shot, Turbid Current, and Vermilion Sand. Always a reliable one. One of the things that's kind of interesting is that when you fight the final battle, you actually want to sort of conceal a lot of your techniques uh, for later use, just because. Um, you know, it's going to make things a little bit easier for you. Um, as far as Miser Time goes, though, you should be able to... I, I would hold on to her WP as, as, as much as humanly possible. And there we go. Rastaban is dead. He tried to be all sneaky, but he failed. Probably because his name is Rastaban. And Rastaban is, you know, it's kind of a real... Uh, Flunky type name. It's, it's it's something that you give to an underling. Doesn't it doesn't imply megalomaniacal super genius. So, and there we go. He dead. Whee! Alrighty. And so we get all the nice little power ups. JP goes up. Oh, nothing for Rouge and Celis. That's a shame. And so Rastaban is gone. And we got his armor, which is the Pluto armor, which is not as good as the uh, the powered suit. So, anyway. Why? Why did he do it, Rastaban? Yep, Ildon, you know, you came with us this far, you gotta see how it ends. And how will it end? What's gonna happen next? How are we gonna fight or lose? Is he gonna magically turn good and let us free? Probably not, but here's hoping. Stay tuned for the finale of Let's Play Saga Frontier, Celsus Quest, this is the Benjinator, and I'll see you next time.